While searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. And before we do that, we still have something else to take care of. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Last time, we defeated a hunter of the Wild Hunt, and Kira has now asked us to help her out first, before we uh, continue on with the cr Crones of Crookback... Cr Oh, I think. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Okay, Kira. So there seems to be a door here. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. Okay, all let's right. do this. Let's see if we can solve this. So we need to light these four statues in order. Um, the riddle gives us an, a clue in how we need to activate these and in what order we need to activate these. If we don't do that correctly, a wraith will spawn. So the first one was uh, there not to, to walk until March until the end, I think. So that's this one, um, mainly because of the other ones. So first, this one, Ignite. Then the second one played a woeful lament. Since this one is carrying a loot and this one is carrying a loot, we need to take a closer look at the rest of them. So the third one is uh, kept close to his loyal beast and marched next to the first one. So that's this one. And then the last one also played his loot and marched not with the first. So the first is over there since both uh, this guy and that guy has a loot. Uh, we on can only assume that the fourth one must be this one since he's not next to the first one So the second one played a woeful lament. That's this one. Wait Something just happened mm -hmm. Behind that wall a movement So that's an indication that we're doing the right thing. So the third one got close to his loyal beast There we go and the fourth one also played lament, but not next to the first one and that's this one. And there we go! So walk through the door. <sighs> Whose grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm, sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. It's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. Or he just really likes Lara Dora. Uh huh. So what's it supposed to do? to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? 
Okay, so we can do that and loot this place a bit. Cavalry trousers. That looks interesting. So that's a magic item. So one less armor, but I do get 41 vitality in return. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It's also a light armor, so that wouldn't slow me down. And a specific damage resistance from monsters. Yeah, let's do this. Looks a bit less ridiculous also. So, okay. Thanks for the trousers. So now, you can also climb up here. Uh, if you activate the lamp first, Kira will follow you. Because there's a base of power here. Place of power, it's got... Save real quickly. Because of course, where's a place where a place of power is, a monster is as well. There we go. And an ability point. Damn it. So I'm gonna first, because Geralt already yelled damn it, but I'm first gonna level up a bit. So the normal idea would be here to take another new skill in the sign tree but since i don't have a free slot i would be wasting that point for now so i would be going otherwise for the melt armor skill for igni so i can bypass a lot of armor but instead of that i'm gonna just uh, boost the active shield to the maximum level because that allows me to maintain the active shield without draining stamina so let's do this so now i'm gonna demonstrate that I can activate that without draining any stamina. I can even activate the explosion without draining stamina. So again, another golem. So, same thing as before. There we go. Kiramets finishes him off. And I'm almost back at full health, so don't worry. So don't forget to take everything on him. And then we got a few chests to loot. Oh, and the fucking body still hurts if you touch it. So, another runestone. Silver ore runestones. Ooh, the diamond iridium bomb. That's very handy against magical creatures because it stops their magic attacks from, well, being pretty effective. So, interesting thing at that. Some more equipment. And the last one. Another rune stone. Oh, there's another one. Tracker's trousers. Sapper's trousers. All the goodies. So now there's an escape route through here. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. That was supposed to happen. Thank you very much. And then there's another chest with another runestone. I can't go through there. Ooh, even more chests. So gauntlets and more silver ore and another runestone. So that's about it for this area, I think. As you can see on the map, we've done pretty much everything here. So let's get back. Mm, magic. So now that we've done the, the quest for uh, Kira, she likes us a bit better than she would otherwise. If we just left her hanging like that. We're going. Mm. There's something here. Need and now we can uh, dispel this illusion. And back into the fresh air. For a little conversation with Kira. Oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. 
Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. Hmm. That sounds I've interesting. I've you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favour to ask you. So, visit me sometime? Yeah, we will. I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. She's wet. Goodbye. So, that's the end of that mission with Kira Metz. But of course, that's not the last we'll see of her. So, first gonna check out so an invitation from Kira Metz. We can track that quest in a second. But first, let's check out all the new equipment we got. So, this one is actually worse, though it gives a bit more resistances, but I'm not gonna use it. They're both light armor as well. So, the Trekker's Trousers Magic Medium Armor item. Uh, 47 vitality and a bit more resistances and more armor by the way but that's just an effect of the it being medium armor I'm doubting I want to stay light because that uh, allows me to use signs more often if I start using medium that will not be the case anymore so this is also medium and even worse actually so I think my gauntlets are now medium as well so maybe I Try and take those tracker gauntlets for now. They look a bit silly, but um, I will not be deleting those cavalry trousers, though, since I might be able to use them later. So the cavalry gauntlets are pretty much the same with the same resistances, but two extra armor. So let's put that on, and then we've got a lot of rune stones. Uh, I can add a lot of things to that silver sword I have now. So I've got a few of these, I'm gonna put those at the 2% burning. Then um, at the 10 armor piercing effect. And at last I'm gonna add the freezing, because freezing is more interesting than stunning. And then glyphs is something we can add to our armor I'm not gonna do that just yet because I don't have a lot of those so uh, yeah that's about it I think a lot of extra money a lot of extra crafting equipment and then maybe we can make that dimeridium bomb already no I still need one optimum matter which we might come across in the future okay so nothing there so I'm gonna go to the, the Bloody Baron's castle first, so um, that will be a great place to start our continuing quest for Ciri. And then after that we'll continue the quest line with Kira Metz and uh, go into her invitation. Let's go! So we already know a bit about the Bloody Baron, uh, mainly that he is normally called Peter Stranger, I think. Um, I might be wrong about that, it, it is Stranger anyway. Uh, and he was a mercenary that took over the leadership of Valen because the Nilfgaardians allowed him to. So he is basically a man that is, has been appointed by Nilfgaard itself to rule Valen in their stead. So his allegiance is a bit muddled. But uh, as we will notice in a second, he is quite a charismatic man. And he resides at Kraus Perch, which we see there in the distance coming up. It's uh, probably one of the bigger areas, cities, if you can call that a city, in uh, Valen at the moment. So let's go see if we can talk to him. The guards let us through without the a hinge, so uh, maybe it won't be so bad. Quite the work, my man's got, eh? So through the lower section we again have a bigger gate leading towards the castle itself and another poster uh, well indicating that the Baron's daughter is still missing. 
So the same poster we found in Hendrik's basement. And if we go up everything here, we'll probably need to have a little Ouch. chat with the guards. Because the fort itself is quite fortified. Baron. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Want to talk to him? Yeah. And I want to plow the lovely Queen Cyril. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You brought us around. As I recall, you were to go your separate way. Well, yeah, we did, but we had to go here. It led me here. Gotta to talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. Open the gate. So, because we Sergeant. brought those guys around Arnold. earlier at the Witcher, end. To see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear. What do you think? He allowed us to go in. Otherwise, that would have been a bit more difficult if we started a fight. So this is the sergeant of the Bloody Baron, so not the Bloody Baron in himself. Yes, you sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. So he leads a whole regiment of deserted Temerian soldiers after the Nils Guardians crushed their armies. Um, and as a sergeant not so subtly mentioned, the Baron is not really in charge anymore. And that has less to do with his ability to now those were balls. lead. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. So the Nilf Gardens already know me. But the Bloody Baron Look doesn't. At that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. So I think the Bloody Baron's character strongly resembles that of uh, Robert Baratheon in uh, Game of Thrones. Because uh, he has the same drinking problem as well. So, uh, okay. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. So strangely, he does know who we are. Make Cozy. yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. <laughs> There it is, a snifter. So let's go along with it for now. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell, who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself loyal. and his company. Good enough. Bottoms up. To the matter at hand. Philip Stranger, Stranger, that was it. That the blob tits round here call me the bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? <laughs> Get to the point. Lovely place. Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. So, um... That a threat. 
I don't think so. I'm thinking he's I'm thinking he's talking about his own Dalton. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So yep. she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. 